We have a Senate candidate, Richard Murdoch, who made some comments this week. Talk about that, and then let's hear more. Well, it, Richard Murdoch was uh, is the Republican Senate candidate running in Indiana. He's sort of an upstart candidate, was not favored by the party, is identified with the Tea Party, but he has a very strong shot of winning that race. It's a Republican-leaning state. And he was asked in a debate this week um, what he would, what he supports in terms of abortion in cases of rape and incest in the life of the mother. And he said um, that uh, he supports uh, uh, the possibility of abortion in the case of the life of the mother, but when it comes to rape and incest, and I'll read the exact quote because it's important here, I came to realize that life is like a that life is that gift from God, and I think even when life begins in that horrible situation of rape, that is something that God intended to happen. Immediately afterwards, Democrats and liberals latched on that intended to happen and created a, a firestorm. It's the third or fourth one we've had this cycle, um, arguing that he wasn't just defending life in that situation, the idea that a life had been created, but that rape may have been intended to happen. It was a distortion of what um, Murdoch said. He came out the next day and said very clearly, I'm not saying rape is a horrible thing. I'm not saying that was what was intended to happen. The politics of this is that all cycle, Republicans have really struggled on social issues that in past cycles have played to their advantage. If you remember in 2004, the last time we had a close election, issues of marriage and, and life actually were helping them in a lot of swing states at that point. This time, given the gender advantage that Democrats have, a lot of it driven by social issues, Republicans have really been backed up against a wall, and, and this has allowed um, Democrats and the president's campaign to once again say the Republican Party and by extension Mitt Romney, who who does uh, support exemptions in the cases of rape and incest, um, are are extremists. And not only do they want to um, overturn Roe v. Wade, which is the position of the party and of Mitt Romney, but they but they don't understand the realities of what it's like to be a woman, the 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 horror of rape, the the. Um, um, the, the, the real fear and, and trouble of a situation like this. And the question was, was Mitt Romney going to uh, ask that his ad supporting Murdoch be withdrawn? Here this it is. fall, I'm supporting Richard Murdoch for Senate. As state treasurer, Richard worked with Governor Daniels to balance the budget and make government more accountable. As senator, Richard will be the 51st vote to repeal and replace government-run health care. Richard will help stop the liberal Reed Pelosi agenda. With so much at stake, I hope you'll join me in supporting Richard Murdoch for U.S. Senate. I'm Richard Murdoch, and I approve this message. Karen, this ad continued to run even after these revelations. I wonder whether you think that uh, this ad supporting Murdoch hurts Governor Romney in any way. I think that pulling the ad would have hurt him worse. Uh, he, with? He did, with the, the extension of this story. The calculation is that this was, you know, a, a comment that was of limited damage, unlike, say, Todd Aiken, who, uh, when he was talking about rape, or he's the Missouri Senate candidate who somehow suggested that women's bodies have superpowers to not get pregnant uh, in cases of rape. What I think that, that Murdoch was doing was expressing a, a rationale that a lot of people who don't support this exclusion believe. Uh, you know, and absent the language of divine intention, it would not have created the stir it did. So here's Mitt Romney's problem. This is the only Senate candidate that he has cut an ad like this for. The ad began running the day before this debate. And the other problem is that Murdoch's position on the rape and incest exclusion is the exact same as Romney's own running mate, Paul Ryan. So I think that it, keeping the ad on the air, not an easy situation. Taking it down would have raised all kinds of additional questions that would have kept this story focused not on Murdoch, but on Mitt Romney.